Man, 1090 Jack, dog. I had to get the nigga in right. This nigga pick and choose who he want to. How in the fuck? I'm sitting here listening. First of all, I'm looking at this shit. They got a whole thing about Boosie, dog face, and all this shit, right? My thing is this, bro. You, you, say, you say Rallo wasn't a rat. But his friend got up there and said, nigga, you telling. The shit that I heard that he was giving up some high-powered niggas. When I look at the paperwork, they anyway, fuck what I seen. What I'm saying is, nigga, so you saying he didn't tell. You You literally believe what this man telling you. See, see, niggas don't, niggas change their tune when they think they talking to real gangsters. You know what I'm saying? See, this motherfucker call whoever a rat when he think he can't be touched by him or that nigga might be a hoe, he ain't who he say he was. So you would call these rappers rats. But you know this nigga Rallo a real street nigga, right? So for some reason you want to back out of, oh he not a rat? No, he how the fuck? Listen, nigga, how does it make any sense? You say the nigga was gonna tell on some niggas about some work, so he was about to pay a nigga. How does it sound? He was about to where the nigga at that he was about to pay? Show me that nigga that he was about to pay. Since you say Rallo was about to pay a nigga to take the case, well, okay, the, 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 let's see the nigga who he was about to pay then. Put him on TV and say, talk to him and say, yeah, I was going to take it for him, but I changed my mind. I want to see that nigga. Because it's not who the fuck. So you, so this nigga moved tons of marijuana, my nigga. That's a serious case. What amount of money was going you was going to do 10 to 20 years for, folks? How much money were you willing to take to do 10 years in a federal penitentiary? What nigga that stupid? To say, I'm going to take this case. Like, what nigga you going to say? Okay, look, I'm about to say you moving kilos of heroin and, and, and this and this and this. They going to come. They going to catch you. You ain't going to have nothing. But you going to admit to them and say, yeah, I did move this and I did move that. Right? How, how do that story sound to you? I, I'm just telling you. That's what 1090. Go look up what 1090 Jake said while Rollo not a rat. He said the niggas. He said so none of it went through and all this shit. But. Okay, now let's look at his main man. His main man said, and listen to what Rallo saying on the tapes. He didn't say nothing about I had somebody was going to take the fall. He said, look, I had to make it look juicy for him. I had to give him some, you know. Come on, man. Listen to the tape and then listen to 1090 Jake. That's why I was trying to tell y'all these niggas out here got selective gangsterism, selective politicking, man. Like I say, all these motherfuckers picking and choosing who they fuck with, dog. They picking with the weakest link on this motherfucker. 1090 Jake, like Boosie even said, nigga, your word ain't law. Who the fuck is you? You even said it. 1090 Jake is a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? First of all, he a culture vulture piece of shit, and I stand on that with everything. You know how Whack 100 call them niggas rats and... um. Niggas rats and call motherfuckers culture vultures. The next thing you know, his shit fall under him. And them, them, them white folks bought him. Vlad and fucking, what you call it, bought his black guy. Like, come work for us. Now, he over there working for these niggas. He's a flunky, my nigga. And I keep seeing this bum-ass nigga keep talking about rats, dog. He love rats, man. Now, he calling everybody gay and everybody a rat. When we the only nigga, only evidence we got of a nigga being gay or a rat is you. We got pictures of you laying on your stomach, nigga. Asshole naked on your stomach with a bitch that say she, you supposed to be a gangster and a hoe not even scared of you. She say, nigga, she put four fingers in your ass and you told her to wave like you was coming here, my nigga. A nigga that did a whole diss song about you, motherfucker. You you talking about all this fighting shit. You won't even take the fade with, dog. You ducking them. The white boys teasing you like, what, why, why don't you take the fight? That nigga low jumper teasing you about that shit because now he thinking you a hoe. You know how they look at Whack 100 so fucked up? They looking over there at Whack 100 like, this nigga's a spectacle. Like, look, we got this nigga working for us. You know how bad you look, nigga? You know how fucked up they looking at you? They don't got no respect for you, nigga. You talk all that gangster shit, you don't do shit. You over there working for them. You call them all of their names, culture vultures. You just a fake. It's just terrible what niggas will do for money. Clown nigga shit, bro. Who the fuck gonna have a nigga that associate with that many rats in the game with him? He love rats. You infatuated with him. I don't know how I went on to this nigga Rallo, to this nigga, but that shit pissed me off, bro. But anyway, get back to Rallo. 1090 Jake said on the BG shit, he said he called BG a rat at first. Go look at it. It's not nothing. I'm telling you, nigga, I remember where I was at. When I, when I seen Gangsta start going bad on BG, when shit wasn't going this way, and he started making up lies on BG. And I was like, damn, dog, catch yourself. You just mad because dog said something about you. Now you want to 
have some rebuttal. Like, you know, yeah, they is Sandy a rat. He jumped on that rat train too, but he kind of backed off like and apologized. But this nigga, uh, 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 whatever the fake Jake nigga, man, snake, the Jake, the snake, this nigga is, he said himself, like, I could make this shit go either way. He said, I, I, I can make it seem like, yeah, he snitched, or I can or I can be the one to say, no, he didn't snitch, because the way the paperwork is, and then he know his voice is the voice that people listen to. So if Jake say he's a rat, he can twist that shit and make it. He said it, man. Look at the interview. He said it pretty much. I can manipulate this shit to go either way, but pretty much, no, I don't think he a rat. At first, he was going with the rat shit, but somebody must have called you and said, hey, cut this shit out. See, that's a big thing. Like I say, with the baby shit. They saying that the baby, the one who gave the red light for uh, for white to go on him. So all these niggas picking and choosing, dog. Rilo own friend recorded a conversation with him. Listen to the conversation. Because my homeboy, he like Rilo too. He like, he a real nigga. He getting money. He getting this. Don't nobody give a fuck. You know what I mean? Real niggas. That's the problem with niggas. You know what I mean? Niggas out here getting money. That, 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 that when niggas, they don't give a fuck that he was a rat. He get out of fucking jail and they gonna fuck with him because he that nigga. Like this nigga Rayful Evans, Edmonds, whatever the fuck this nigga name is. Man, he the, he died in DC. You think niggas, 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 you think niggas trying to kill him? Niggas trying to get a picture with him, trying to shake his hand, nigga. That nigga died out there. Boy, ain't nothing gonna happen to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to put a play down with him right now. Believe me, dog. I'm telling you how this shit go. He about to run it up, my nigga, just like the other nigga. He about to run it up on this snitching shit. He about to do all these. In- Man, he about to make a million dollars before before the month out. You know what I'm saying? He about to go on all these fucking interviews. Nigga, nigga want to pay him a hundred, half a million dollars probably for the first interview just since he been out. But believe me, he can get a half a million dollars easy from a nigga like Vlad. A couple hundred thousand easy cash money under the table, nigga, to get an interview right now. So, and that shit gonna go on and go on and go on. Then, you know, books, movies. Next thing you know, it's gonna be a life about this movie, 50 Cent, and them pick it up. Man, these rats is winning, dog. And the thing is, is that y'all wanna believe what y'all, you gotta believe what you see, my nigga, and what you hear. Anytime a nigga main man go against you dog and for no and not for no reason only because you told like nigga i've been rolling with you until this shit you wouldn't talk to them people you don't what but the thing is i'm trying to tell y'all and i'm not trying to start no shit i'm not i'm just being real i bought this rilo shit because it damn near turned my stomach how many people was greeting him and giving him money and, and actually he a real nigga i like his and it's funny how you like how you a real nigga near rap, my nigga. He, a lot of niggas are fold under pressure. It's just what it is, my nigga. But his ways and what he done for the community, you can't take that away. See, a lot of people once you rap, everything go out the window, right? Like, well, he ain't no killer, but y'all niggas need to stop that. That don't make a nigga not a killer. That don't make all this work because he told nigga face a hundred thousand years. A lot of people can't take that shit, my nigga. And to me. That's part of the streets. So being a rat is part of the game, my nigga. So yeah, motherfucker, get man. Listen, man. listen. That's why I want to do a movie so bad about which, which y'all want to see a real true gangster nigga. That y'all love them scantless ass niggas. But in reality, a nigga that's out here cut though than a motherfucker killing drug dealing nigga. Tell get back out and get back right to it. Like what you gonna do about it? Okay, I told now what? Who gonna do something about it? Well, I got this work. Who working with me? A million niggas gonna work with him. Nothing gonna happen to him. That's a real street nigga. Nigga don't give a fuck about you. Y'all better start waking up, man. This bullshit and fantasy shit that y'all living out here thinking that it's rules to this shit. Who? That's TV shit. And y'all get this shit from Italian TV. It's not even like niggas made this shit up. Italians made this shit up and put this shit in movies. And in, in every movie that you see, the niggas who say they had never rat be the rats. What big nigga had never read it? The biggest rat be turned turn the biggest gangster turn rats in the even in the movies. So picture real life how many motherfuckers turn rat that's Italian. But we want to take the image off of them and live by this shit that they say. You shouldn't tell. That's the thing. In real life you shouldn't tell. But we know that's not how that work. Nigga in real life you only got one life to live, nigga. So when your back get against the wall, you do any and everything you can to come out that shit. That's why when you're doing crimes with niggas, you got to understand that, nigga. Because anybody can fold. Ain't no nigga. All these niggas, old niggas talking about they did 30 years in prison. I told you why they done it, didn't I? Ain't because they don't stand up, niggas. Because they knew if they didn't tell, their whole family was dead, nigga. 
fuck you mean? They had to do the time. Half them niggas would have folded anyway. So just so happened they had to do the 30 years. Now they can get out and say, I'm stand up, nigga. I'm this, I'm that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? They could talk about it because they had to do the time. Now, nigga, I, I bet you can't do it again, though. I bet you won't do it again, nigga. Someone I die before I tell you. Well, man, listen, dog. This is how I look at this shit. Niggas out here with one life to live. They do. They love doing stupid shit. The, the streets don't love you, my nigga. So you, when you in this game, you got to always think any nigga. Look, 99.9% of these niggas is telling. So when I look at a nigga like Rilo, dog, he ain't no different than none of them. They come home. How you going to rat and then come home and talk about rats and say you hate rats when you rat it, my nigga? Because listen, don't no nigga sit and talk to no federal agents. They self. Why you got all this money? Why didn't you have your lawyer set that shit up? You know what I'm saying? I'm not understanding that shit. Your lawyer's supposed to go talk to these people. Why the fuck are you sitting down giving a proffer and they're talking to you? And he said that you said that you gave them your phone to go through your phone. Like, man, that's, come on, man. I'm just going off these niggas' rules. These not my rules. That's these niggas' street rules. This is what they say. If you sit down and talk to the motherfuckers at all, you a wreck. In any type of way. I don't understand that rule because... How do you get cops? You know what I'm saying? You got it. Your lawyer, you get them through your lawyer. So, you know what I'm saying? Your lawyer got to say, hey, they coming with this. That's the only person you should be talking to. You should never talk to a, 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 a police officer. But niggas do. Niggas sit down and think they can talk their way out of some shit. They, so he had to sit down. They questioned him himself. He gave this, you know, all that making it look juicy shit don't, don't, don't fit well with me. It just don't. How the fuck you gonna make some? Just somebody gotta go to jail to lessen your sentence. You understand what I'm saying? See, the thing is, he's saying I did my time, but that's the time for the weed. What about the bodies? So why are they actually? They 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 said they want they don't want no work. They want murders. They want this and this. Why they want that from you and you got work? You you know what I'm saying? You trying to give them niggas a work? That that means that they want you for somebody's nigga. They want you for this heroin distribution shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, you got to read the paperwork. If you look at this shit from beginning to end on this Rilo shit, and I'm not just on no nigga here. I just don't like no motherfucker to be out here false flagging, dog. And the shit just don't fit well with me. And like I say, 1090 Jake is a motherfucker out here causing controversy with us, man. You know what I'm saying? That nigga going to find this shit that, you know, we know we got rats. Who, nigga, do your own people, nigga. Why you doing niggas and rappers? Like, we already know we got rats out here. Like, it, you know, I just, it just rubs me, rubs me the wrong way when that nigga said he can twist some shit the way he wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? And you digging them niggas elementary and it's, 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 it's fucked up. I mean, some of this shit good to know, but it's just coming from that nigga. It's like when I hear some shit from Candace Owens, it, it rubs me the wrong way. Cause it's like a white person telling me that shit. Like, why are you speaking on black topics? You know what I'm saying? Period. That's just how I feel, man. I mean, you're not even doing your. I can see if it was fair all the way around the board. All you do is niggas. You know that shit. They got that nigga filthy rich. You know, it's crazy though, man. But yeah, dog, this shit is nuts. But I was just looking at the dog face. How dog face went in on Boosie, selective politicking. A lot of these niggas doing it. You know. You know. So. The thing with Boosie, everybody a rat except for his man. You even caught T.I. a rat with no proof, though. That was bold as a motherfucker, but yet QCP. So he must don't think T.I. a, a, a real nigga. That's the thing. He, that's the almost disrespect because you're going to call T.I. a rat with no proof, no nothing. And you already knew all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And now they ask you about QCP. And you, oh, no, oh, I didn't know. Or maybe, what is he trying to say? You was stuttering like a motherfucker. Nigga, this nigga read it. He told about a nigga who killed this brother because he was scared of the nigga. And then that nigga QCP, well, I'm not no street nigga. Dog, but your whole claim to fame was, there's so many fake niggas in out here, boy. And that's why I say I just, I just feel bad for the youth, man. I cannot say it enough. The way these niggas out here got this shit, this YouTube shit. Man, and when I look at this shit, though, right? Look how they got niggas out here doing these crimes. This YouTube, this rap shit. All these kids out here killing each other, killing each other, killing each other. And then not only is they killing each other, they solving their own murders. They solving the murders for the police. So now you got these niggas killing each other, killing each other. Then they gone. 
y'all think them your homies five years down the line, this nigga get caught for with an A for key or some shit. Well, they don't even hustle no more. He get caught scamming or some shit and about to do two years in prison. And he tell on a murder that he know that your homeboy didn't did. So not only is these niggas doing all the murders, but they locking their own selves up at the same time. They ratting at an all-time high. Ratting is at an all-time high. Niggas is telling everything they know. Niggas is doing crimes with niggas and listening to niggas just to just for a uh, get out of jail free card. Now that niggas know they can get out of jail for free, you know how many unsolved murders and crimes about to be solved now? Now that these niggas know, oh, we can get out of jail for telling on another nigga. And then what 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 that do? It just lets another violent nigga out to continue the thing. And it's a conti- and he gonna end up getting listen, the fucked up part is the nigga that tell. On this, you know, okay, they do all these murders. Then this nigga tell to get out of jail. They let this violent motherfucker out. You know where they let him out? They didn't use him. They didn't already used him to tell and get out. They don't mind letting him go because they know this motherfucker about to be dead or back in jail forever. You who you gonna tell on next? Now you about to be out here dumb as fuck, back out here doing shootings yourself, out here robbing yourself. Either somebody gonna kill you, or you, or when you come back through that door. They didn't let you go once. Now they not. They didn't use you up. Now they not letting you go. You don't got nothing to stand on no more because you done told everything on the first go round. So they know what they doing. They smart at what they do, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's a win win for them. And, and and that's what it is, dog. When it's sad out here, man, the way we working against each other, dog. And, and it don't make no sense, nigga. But yeah, this shit. I just, I, I, I just be seeing all this rat shit. And all these murders, how these boys crash out, then tell on everybody. Crash out, tell it. Okay, now you done, you done did all this shit. Like I told them, well, gangster. I, I, you know, I say on this month, I ain't tell them, but we ain't talked yet. But I'm like, nigga, you talking all these murders and openly how you did them and how you would do them again. You better hope you never get in trouble again. Yeah, they let you go. Yeah, you snitched the first time and got out on whoever you did. It did people, whoever. But now they see you bragging on this shit. They, you just said you have no conscience about it. I don't lose no sleep on it. This, this, this. And if I had to do it again, I would do it like this. So if you ever get in trouble again and get back in the mercy of them white folks, bro, you ass out. And that's how they be using niggas, bro. These niggas, they know when they get these rats, okay, they still going to make you do 20 years. Right, so you in there for fucking life. So now to beat your life sentence, you still about to do some time, whether it be 10, 15, 20 years. You're gonna get them some time, even when you get them the murders. Now you done solved all it, or even if they let you go, fuck it. They let you go, I'm gonna you're gonna solve all these murders. And, and okay, they're gonna make sure they true. You're gonna do a couple years anyway, just just to make sure all this shit that you saying true, yada yada yada. Okay, you done told everything you know. Now you a killer yourself because you in there for killing. Now, you got three, four bodies yourself they want you for. But you solve another one. But they smart enough. Like I say, they smart enough to know, let this nigga go. Well, he ain't got nothing to stand on when he come back. He going to be either dead or right back in this motherfucker. And so it's a win-win for them. And it's just a, a circle. A circle. Niggas killing, killing, killing. Rat, 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 dead, gone. Okay, let's get another one. Rat, 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 kill, kill, kill. Get him up out of here. He done. It's just... Fucked up, man. I don't know if y'all know, y'all understand where I'm coming from, but I'm watching all this fake shit on here, man. I'm watching all these niggas select who they want to beef with, select who they want to tell on. It's just crazy. And then they, they 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 swear they real as a motherfucker. Like from the babies to the J princess to all the big dogs, my nigga. And I'm on them niggas only because they put bad shit in our community. So to me, they worse than any racist white person in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because of the way they fate. If they was real niggas and was really standing on Ben, I had nothing to say to these niggas. Because they stand on what they stand on. They real. They 100%. Fuck it. The streets is the streets. Let the streets handle it. I have no comment on nothing that real street niggas do. But these fake street niggas, these niggas out here who ain't doing nothing, who just rich as a motherfucker, talking all this gangster shit, and you ain't walking shit down, nigga. Them the niggas I hate. Because you frost flag, and if you was doing this shit and you was putting work in behind this shit, how could I speak on it? Because what you saying is real, and you bought that life. So okay, niggas know not to play with you. I'm definitely not about to play with you. You know what I'm saying? But the, this the whole shit y'all doing, y'all letting y'all y'all opening these doors to get disrespected. You look bad, and it's all for a couple of dollars. Like what is you that rich got any? Why would you have an argument with anybody for? And you that motherfucking rich. What the fuck are you arguing and 
what the fuck is you talking to another black man for? And you this motherfucking rich and successful. The problem is these niggas don't always be as rich and successful as we think, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of these guys out here, man, that ain't nothing like you think, you know. But you can't tell a motherfucker that these niggas not gangsters. That these niggas not nowhere rich as you think they are. You can't tell them that. You tell a motherfucker right now that baby going broke. You you know, they, they be like, how oh, he on this? He got this artist, this artist. Okay, then why the fuck he back doing shows then? Why the fuck he just lose his mansion? Rick Ross clowning him about. Why the fuck is he back trying to hook up the hot boy? Like, it's just crazy shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm out of here, man. I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm trapped up, bro.